glorious chicken here from Starker Gaming and in this tutorial I will show you how to get shaders mod for Minecraft 1.7.10 so I was installing it for myself so I thought maybe why not make a tutorial of it because maybe some of my friends would find out how to get this thing too anyway let's continue so the first thing you'll be needing is Minecraft Forge to get that go to the description it is the first link over there so once you click it, it will open up this web page. All you have to do is go to the recommended or the latest, whatever your choice is. Click the installer win and it will download you this file, the one with the blue icon. So, start it up, click it. Okay, so here you have like two choices. One is for your server, one is for your client. So. Whatever your intention is, just choose your option and click OK. In my case, it's client. It will download the required files for it. <sighs> Once it's been downloaded, go back to the description, you'll find the second link that would take you to a GLSL shaders jar file. So, it will take you to this web page, just download it through this place. Uh, there it is, the button, the one where I highlighted. So just click it, it will download you this file. Okay, it's done. And you have this, once you have this file, just open up, run, app data, and there you go. Go to your Minecraft. So you see, we don't have the required mod folder. We will have to make one. There you go. Mods, there. Voila! And move it in here. Now, we have to... Before we continue any further, we have to make sure that the Minecraft Forge has already installed correctly. So, to confirm it, just open your launcher. Wait for it. What the heck? Just log in. And you see the profile? You have to go there. You will see that it says Forge. Click on it. Log in again. And voila! Now start your Minecraft. Also, if you're wondering that if it's capital with the any other launchers like the one I'm using, it's custom. It's got different features and all. Yes, it it absolutely works with the other ones, be it the official one, the customs one, whatever you the one you're using. So it will just absolutely work. Now you see the small button, right? Now this is where you will confirm it's working correctly now just close your uh, you don't need to close your game just I'll just close it okay now what you have to do is get the shader pack uh, this will be the actual file you'll be needing to get uh, different kind of visual effects for your game in my case I have downloaded the this one Sonic Adders Unbelievable Shaders so I will give you a few of the links in the description for the different shadow packs you can choose one from hit from there uh, by the way those will be my personal choices so you can go google the different ones for yourself so anyway let's put this thing also I have downloaded the recommended uh, resource pack for it along with the shadow pack and now you have to go to your back to roaming and the, you see the folder called shadow packs just go there put it over here and I'll just put the resource pack over there too. Voila. It's all done. Oh yeah, my files. I forgot. Ah, wrong thing. And voila! The game has... Uh, the shader mod has been installed. Let's show you guys how it looks like. Okay, so once we're in the game... Oh well, the creeper. Never mind. Okay, now go to back to your options. There it says shaders. All you gotta do is, uh, this is the list over here on the left. So just choose one, the one you have downloaded. Just click and voila, it's right behind us. Oh, just look at it. Just oh my god, just look at how glorious this is. Hmm. Uh, it, it looks quite diff weird with the uh, with the original packs. Oh my god, the clouds. Hold on, let's fix that. Let's close the clouds. Nope, no, we don't want the clouds. And... Oh yeah, the resource pack I downloaded. Where, how do you... Where is it? 
resource. Oh, there it is. Click on it. And done. Voila! Hmm. It looks quite... Hmm. Not bad, really. Okay, okay. Just look at it. Just, whoa. This is damn glorious, I tell you. Alright, now let's get back to the performance check. Wait. Oh my god. What happened to glass? Oh, are you kidding me? Well, <laughs> just disregard the weird stuff. The shadow pack I'm using is still has quite a lot of bugs, but it is glorious, I tell you. Now, shaders. Let's turn the old light on. This off. Hmm, I don't care about the hand texture, so. Hmm, 30 FPS. I think the default ones are good. So, here are your settings. Just don't mess with them. As long as you're using this uh, shader pack that I'm, uh, I have installed. So, anyway, there you go. A glorious texture map. Wait, I think, let's see how good it looks at the night time. Time night oh I forgot to enable oh my god just look at the clouds the move oh okay uh, oh oh this looks really looks like it's a crystal you know oh my god just okay all right so this was it for our tutorials on how to install Shader mod on Minecraft 1.7.10. Well, I'm gonna try a different one. Anyway, see you guys!